Okay, so in this illustration, I'm going to walk you through Blackboard and all the different links that I've set up for you uh, to help you get registered with Connect and also to show you how to use the Blackboard site to be successful in this course. So again, once you do log into Blackboard, you'll go to the homepage link. That's where you're going to be directed to first. And you're going to find I've got a welcome, an overview of the course, and just some other things you should read through like Medicaid policy and you know your technical skills. And I also did go ahead and list the textbook information. It is an e-text with uh, Connect Access that you all need to purchase in order to submit your homework and quiz assignments. So that's one thing you will need. So you'll get that right away when you go to this homepage. The next link I have made available for you is the announcements link. Right now, you, there's no announcements, but they'll be coming pretty, pretty quickly. But this is the link that uh, typically I will send you weekly just to kind of keep in touch with you to make sure you're on task and, and to let you know exactly what you should be doing each week. And again, that's under the announcement link. The next thing I've got set up was my instructor. And there's my background information. There's my photo. Again, here's my office phone, email, and my office location, room F324, uh, in case you need to get a hold of me. Again, I do prefer email. That's easier for me to get back with you quickly. So again, this is all under the My Instructor link. Next up is Connect Registration. You'll open up this PDF file, read the instructions. It's pretty easy. What will happen is it'll, take, it'll tell you where to go to get registered. Uh, for your convenience, I've also set up a Connect registration link. I'll go ahead and click that now. And what's going to happen is it's going to redirect you to the Connect website. You should see my photo. Here's the course. And again, to join the, uh, the class, you simply enter your email, and then you can get set up that way. So again, this is under the Connect registration. And again, you need all need to do this on or before August 19th, which is when the class does begin. All right, next up, I've got the Connect website. This is just, again, for your convenience. If you click this Connect Access, it's going to take you right back to the page I just showed you. But again, this is just for your convenience as you're in Blackboard if you want to go back and forth between Connect and Blackboard. Um, next up is the Syllabus and Schedule. So then this is where I've listed the syllabus. I've got the class schedule. And again, here's your textbook information. Again, I'm going to open up this, the syllabus. I've already done that. A couple, couple things I'll mention. Again, there's my information, my name, office location, telephone, email again, and of course my virtual hours. Again, here's your required text, which is your Connect Access card. Here's your ISBN. It's an online course, three credit hours. Um, about the class procedures, you're going to find that you'll, I'll, I'll be using Blackboard and Connect. Blackboard has all your illustrations that I've created for you. And then, of course, Connect has some too, but Connect is primarily where you're going to enter all your uh, quiz and homework assignments. Rest up, I'm going to page down to the evaluation. Note there'll be two exams at 150 points each. There'll be, actually, there's going to be 12 quizzes, and I'll get that to that in a moment. And there's going to be 12 uh, homework assignments, but I only count 10 of these. What's going to happen is I'm going to drop your two lowest. And I'll explain that in a minute. But notice your overview two exams, 10 quizzes, 10 assignments, adds up to 450. Notice the weights. Your exams are worth about 67% of your grade. And those are going to be listed in terms of the dates uh, in the class schedule. Again, on your quizzes, I said 12 chapters. Essentially, you're going to have a ch uh, quiz for each chapter. So we cover 12 chapters. Um, you get two attempts on each quiz. I count your best attempt. And again, I do drop your two lowest quizzes. So those where I get the only 10 quizzes will count towards your grade. On your homework assignments, it's very similar. You get a homework assignment for each chapter, 12 chapters we're going to cover. You get unlimited attempts. Just make sure you get them submitted by the due date. Note, I do drop your two lowest homework assignments. About makeups, the only thing typically I allow you to make up are exams if you happen to miss one. Note, quizzes and homework assignments are final and they may not be made up. Okay, so again, read through the rest of this uh, syllabus. And again, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to go ahead and show you the class schedule. I'm just going to show you the pace. Notice the first week, which is August 19th, um, chapters 1 and 2. And then the next week is chapters 3 and 4. Again, and don't panic. The first three or four chapters of this whole textbook, a lot of the stuff is very basic review stuff. So don't panic if, you, if you're getting a little overwhelmed thinking there's this many chapters you're covering. Typically in my lecture-based courses, I tend to cover about the, it's about the same pace. So don't panic. Um, you notice that as I page down, notice the exam one is the week of September 30th. If I keep going, you can kind of see the pace of the course. Exam two will be the week of December 9th. So again, Read over the class schedule, gives you a pace of the course. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, uh, next up is the course readiness agreement. So again, once you've done all this stuff, you've got this, you've read through the syllabus and the class schedule and you register with Connect, 
click the course readiness agreement you're letting me know that you're ready to begin the course and the nice thing is is you also get five bonus points that's a nice deal before you've even started the course all right a couple more things learning modules this is where i do have all of my illustrations uh, to help you to assist you with each chapter so if you just click on a chapter if i click for example chapter three you notice having the overview of, of the chapter agenda items learning objectives i have powerpoint illustrations all these other illustrations i've created for you uh, to help you learn and also before you you and tip the homework and a quiz assignments and connect and i've also included a connect login within the module again learning modules is where you want to go if you have questions on course content on what you need to be doing you'll find I have all my illustrations linked into these modules. All right, next step, everything else. Course documents, I'll click that. These are all referenced within your learning modules. I've got PowerPoint illustrations. Again, same thing. These are all referenced within your learning modules, textbook solutions, and so forth. And don't worry about the submit exam one and two just yet. You'll worry about those when we get to those exam times. And I also have a link on here where you can check your grade once, uh, once you submit your Connect uh, assignments. What I do is I transfer your connect points into Blackboard that allows you to track your grade. So let me just kind of wrap this up. A couple more things. Let me go back. So again, connect registration. Make sure you get registered with connect on or before August 19th. And again, let me know if you have any problems with that. And then finally, I'm going to go back to my instructor. Again, if you have any questions about anything about the course, my teaching style, connect, and so, so forth, or the class schedule, anything, please email me at djeriga at stlcc.edu. Again, welcome to the course.